Hello everyone and welcome back to another air fryer recipe video. Today we are going to make loaded mashed potato balls, fried mashed potatoes, whatever you want to call them. Whatever they are called, they are delicious. So you're really just going to use some leftovers in the fridge and bread them up and get them in the air fryer. So I'm going to get to turn around and show you what you need and how to cook them. Okay, so what you are going to need is some leftover mashed potatoes, or if you want to make fresh mashed potatoes, you can and just put them in the fridge for a while. To that, I am going to add some seasoning salt. And with all of this, I don't really measure. It's going to depend on how many or how much mashed potatoes you have. So seasoning salt, I'm putting in some onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. A heaping tablespoon or two of flour. And I'm going to mix that up and then I'm going to put in some leftover bacon I had in the fridge as well as some shredded cheddar. This would be really good if you had some green onion or chives. I didn't have any but I think that would make it even better. If you had sour cream or anything else that you would like to add in to yours, you could do that. Just make sure you add enough flour to accommodate for it. You want these to be on the drier side so that they will ball up and form little balls. So I am going to use a cookie scoop to get little balls made. Looking back on this, I would actually make them a little bit smaller or something else you could do is put them in like a baking dish or a cookie sheet and flatten them, then freeze them and then cut them into triangles or squares, whatever you would like. After cooking these, they were good and they really, the size wasn't bad, it's just, it would be nice if they were just a little bit smaller. So next time I think I'll flatten them out, freeze them, and then cut them, and then do the breading. And I'll show you that all here in just a few minutes. But after you get your mashed potatoes into little balls, or whatever shape you decide, or if you're doing the cookie sheet, you're going to stick them in the freezer for a while until they uh, firm up and then you will either cut them in shapes or from there you will just bread them. I know that sounds really confusing so I'm sorry. <laughs> So after they come out of the freezer, and like I said, you're just going to freeze them, depending on the size and what you do, maybe an hour, just enough to where they're firmed up. 
I am mixing together an egg with a little bit of milk. And then for my dry ingredients, I'm going to use some panko. I love panko, it adds just a little bit of an extra crunch. I'm also going to use some Italian breadcrumbs. And again, I don't measure, I just add what I think I need and if I need more, I can always make more. I'm also going to add some garlic powder. And some Parmesan cheese because Parmesan cheese makes everything taste better. So once everything is mixed up, you're just going to coat uh, one of your mashed potato balls in the egg and then you're going to do um, a coating of the breadcrumb mixture and then you're going to put it back in the egg mixture and then back in the breadcrumb mixture to do a double breading. So we will put them in the air fryer basket. You don't want to overcrowd them. So I am doing, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them at a time. And I went ahead and sprayed the tops with some cooking spray. And I put them in the air fryer. It's already set to 400 and I am going to do eight minutes. About halfway through, I'm going to flip them and spray the other side with cooking spray and then let them continue to cook for the last four minutes. Here they are out of the air fryer. Depending on your air fryer, you may have to cook them just a few more minutes. I actually needed to cook them for about two extra minutes. And I am just serving them with some homemade ranch dip with that's sour cream in the Hidden Valley Ranch Packet. They are so good. I hope that you try them. I hope that you like them. And if you do, leave me a comment down below. Share some of your air fryer recipes. I love my air fryer and I hope that 
If you have one that you love it too, and if not, and if you're on the fence about getting one, I hope that some of these recipes are inspiration to go ahead and do that and try your own recipes out. So if you are new, don't forget to sub subscribe. I always mess that word up for some reason. But anyway, if you are new, hit the subscribe button and that bell to get notified when I post more videos. And until next time, bye friends.